This video tutorial will show you how to create an opt-in form using Social Player feature in Sociocaster. Now log into your Sociocaster account. In the content page, you'll find Social Player tab. In this page, you'll have option to create three different types of Social Player instance, which are opt-in, coupon, and video type. Hit opt-in button to start. Then Social Player Designer page will appear. Your changes will be reflected on the preview panel at the right side. On the left side, you can edit the parameter according to your needs. There are four tabs on the left side of the page. The first tab is Main Content. Main Content tab contains Template Field. You can choose one from five templates available. The changes will be seen on the right side. We'll choose template 3 for now. Name field. Fill this to identify your social player instance. This is for your internal reference only. Others will not see this information. Title field. This is the header title of your opt-in form. You can change the color, font face, and formatting. Maximum character count for title is 30. Button Label Field. You can change the button text here. Change this to Call to Action Text. The next tab is the Image tab. You can change the image on the opt-in type with your own image or logo. Click on the image to upload image from your own local PC. Next is Email Responder Provider tab. As default, we set the email responder to CSV. So when people fill in the opt-in form with their name and email, you can download the data as a CSV file. However, you have the option to set up a third-party email responder provider. You can click Add New Email Responder Provider to proceed. Complete details of how to add new email responder provider will be explained in another video tutorial. Now let's go back to email responder setting. In this demo, we'll choose CSV.
Next is Share Preview tab. This preview will appear on your Facebook timeline or your Twitter feed. You should change placeholder image for the preview. I will choose a sample image this time. Recommended image size is 600 pixels for width and 315 pixels for height. I would suggest you use eye-catching image for maximum results. Change Share Title, Share Description, and Share Caption with your desired text by clicking on it. Click Create button to save your work, and your Social Player instance is successfully created. Next, go to My Social Players tab, which contains list of all your social player instances. You can see a couple of action buttons for each of your social player instances. Let me explain each of the buttons start from left to right. Share via Socialcaster API button. You can schedule or post Social Player Instance to single or multiple accounts using this button. Share directly to Facebook. You can share your Social Player Instance to your Facebook account. You cannot send Social Player Instance as scheduled or post to multiple accounts with this button. Click this button to edit your Social Player Instance. Click this button to download a CSV file. Click the Embed button to get embed code. You can embed Social Player in any website. Click on the Statistic button to show statistics of your Social Player instance. The stats will show how many unique views, total number of views, submitted email, and also the map where the visitors are coming from. Click Delete button to delete your Social Player instance. Now let's try to post using Socialcaster API. Choose fan page slash account. Fill the description and hit post now. Check your Facebook to see the result. Click Play. Now you see your opt-in form working on Facebook Newsfeed. Try to fill the form and hit Register button. A success message will appear telling you that you have successfully opt-in. Now go back to My Social Players tab to download the CSV file to see your email data.